Hi, I'm Melissa Lang. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to cover on front lats, or sometimes known as shoulder pull down. Okay, this next exercise is to get you to understand where your shoulder blades need to be sitting on your back. So most of us tend to be tight in the front of our chest, in our pecs, and we tend to roll forward. We also can be tight in our lats as well. But what you're wanting to do, if these are your shoulder blades, you're wanting to draw them down towards your tailbone, okay? At the same time, widen your collarbones, okay, so that you're not rounding yourself. You basically want to ex sort of take on a more military type posture, but you're in a prone position. So you're getting all of your back extensors and your back myofascial line to be working. So it's going to look like this. So find something where you can rest your forehead on something. So you can keep the alignment of your spine because any time we lift up, we want to be lengthening in both directions. So it's not a really high exercise. It's more of a neutral position with the intention of lengthening out through the crown of your head. So please don't look up because you'll be aggravating the back of your neck. You want to keep your neck long. So you take a breath in. As you exhale, you draw the pelvic floor in. You draw the waist in. And you slowly slide the shoulder blades down the back, widening the collarbones as you go. You're working the triceps as well, so the muscles along the back of the arm here. You could put little hand weights of a kind in your hand if you want to intensify this exercise. And then inhale to relax. So breath in. Exhale to activate the pelvic floor and draw the waist in. Sliding the shoulder blades down the back. Axial elongating out through the crown of your head and really reach. If you want, add a rotation to widen the collarbones and then back down again. 